All right, guys, pneumatics lab number 14. So we've done up to 13. We've done all the bits and pieces that we need. The 3-2, the 5-2, the AND, the OR, the speed control. And then we just did uh, the on delay timer and the off delay timer. So this next one we're going to do, uh, and you can take your choice. You can do any of the, the next projects. So you don't have to go in the sequence of 14 through, I think I have 18 labs so, so far. You can just go back and forth. So just pick a lab and decide to go forward with it. So look at something that interests you and do that one. Okay, so let's do this one for uh, pneumatics lab number 14. Uh, three double acting cylinders need to sequentially one, two, three extend when two push buttons are initiated simultaneously. Once all the cylinders have extended, then all the cylinders are gonna retract automatically. So let's take a look at our SMC board here. So with this guy, we're going to have to press both of these push buttons. So one and the other push button are pressed. So we're gonna to have to either series these guys up or make use of the two pressure valve. So one and the other one are pressed. And at that point, this double acting cylinder is going to extend. Once it extends, then the next double acting cylinder is going to extend. Once the second one extends, the third one finally extends. And when it gets to the end of its travel, then one, two, three, all three of them go back at the same time. Now we don't have a quick exhaust valve, so you're not going to have all of them come back at the exact same time. But again, the sequence is uh, push one and the other push button. This one goes out, then the next one goes out, then the third double acting cylinder goes out. Once it comes to the end of its travel, then all three of them go back at the exact same time. Okay, there's all different ways to do this. Some people use the limit switches to sequence them. Others use the limit switches and the five twos in order to sequence them. Uh, so just try and make, make it work. There's three or four different ways you can go about this lab. Okay, I'm not going to give you the answer for this one, but I will uh, pause here for two seconds. I'll set up my circuit and then we'll see how it works. And then you can set up uh, yours and see how they compare. All right, guys, this one's lab number 14. Looks crazy. Looks crazy because we've got all these lengths of uh, tubing that we haven't cut, right? So we've got stuff absolutely all over the map. Don't worry about uh, what it looks like. The sequencing here is that uh, we're going to press both push buttons and they're going to sequence at one, then two, then three. When this one gets to the last limit switch, then they should all come back together. Uh, I don't have one of those valves that allows that air to exhaust quickly. So I'd like it for all of them to come back. If you have some suggestions uh, to fix this circuit and make it a little bit uh, better, uh, but you will find that it'll cycle out one, two, three, and then it'll have almost the same sequence coming back. So they'll, they'll all come back together, but there'll be a little bit of a delay between each of them. Uh, because of the way that I've cycled them through. Okay, so I have made use of as many components as I as I can, and it looks like I've got to be in the the rest position here for cylinder one, and I have to hit not just one or the other. I need to hit two push buttons in order for these guys to start sequencing. I can just press it and then release. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. We're looking for pressing of both this guy and this guy. You can series them up or you can use the two pressure uh, valve. And we've got one, two, three, and then they're all supposed to go back together. Okay, one more time. Excellent, that's what we're looking for for lab number 14, guys. There's a number of ways to do this. Uh, I've made use of as many components as possible, but there are three or four ways to challenge, to take on this challenge.